Hi, uh, my name is Mark. I'm a concept artist and illustrator working for the entertainment industry. So here I, I started this piece with, uh, with a basic, basic zebra sculpt and uh, I rendered out uh, a couple of uh, render passes uh, with various, various lighting from, from the same angle about the sculpt. So in the first step I just basically compositing and and doing uh, merging together all these all these layer passes and combining them to to have to have a certain light lighting on on my on my bust erasing erasing back what I don't need and so I have certain rim lights some under lighting uh, I have some more I, I want to leave some more shiny areas just to differentiate the different materials uh, of the head and uh, as I also finished that so the final step is basically I'm, I'm uh, painting over these things um, so I'm also adding colors and paints manually so I really would like to have this mage has a glowing eye, so I start. I, I blocked in a sort of an orangey, misty color for his eyes, and I'm correcting some shadows, uh, adding some some facial facial markings, just to make him look even more cooler. These these things what are what are very much easier to apply in Photoshop than than doing texturing or or, or poly painting, at least for me. And as the the eyes are going to be the center focal areas, um, I'm adding more details, more sharp details to these eyes. I, I want I wanted to avoid to to add real irises, so I just added. Uh, small circles instead of the irises, so small concentric circles. And I already added one one step of glow to the eyes and and to the edges of of the head. I used uh, for the for the cape. I used textures. And now I'm just painting over the whole thing, so trying to trying to make it a bit more painterly, painterly looking, and also also unify so just unify the whole thing to somehow find the balance between the three D uh, elements, the the painted elements, and the and the textures. So and here I'm I'm starting to to block in the the background. I'm. When I'm when I'm using uh, textures for fire, I always create a base, sort of like a, like a smoky haze, uh, because it's much easier to to apply textures if you have if you have something to build on and not just plain white or, or plain black background. I also added some some extra, extra textures to his hat to make it more realistic and. To have more visual noise on it, because I mean I have a lot of detail with with the with the, with the different fire textures in the background and in the foreground, and I still don't want to lose the focal point of of the face and the eyes and, and the character itself. Fixing and here, yeah, um, as you can see, I'm um, uh, I'm gonna use various textures, fires. Um, and also use some smoky ink textures and uh, some dust particle textures and so try to try to apply your textures creatively so you don't necessarily have to use that particular texture what is exactly fit for that area um, I'm uh, for fire I'm, I'm using uh, I'm using the screen layer mode because that's where uh, where 
blacks basically are disappearing so the only only the lights are, are staying there and that's what I need from, from the fire and I'm basically distorting uh, every every layer what I what I add to to match to match my needs with the free transform tool and in between these layers I'm, I'm also adding mainly screen and color dodge layers to, to enhance the glow of the fire and to give more particles if you, if you add fire to give a bit more movement it's also great if you if you add flying embers uh, around the fire because I mean the flyer has different parts and you have you really would like to show all of these so the embers the really the core of the fire the mist the smoke so everything is part of this so it's pretty much finished and the only thing that I'm doing is like some final color color adjustments and corrections at the end and it's done thank you for watching